Hello everyone and welcome back to Bali Spring. And here we are, we are just starting the process of shifting our bells, getting them shredded into the silo here. And the reason for doing that is I want to make a batch of TMR. Big massive batch. But I want the precision control from the silo so I can control the exact leakage of product going in, whether it's silage, hay or straw. Pick up a few more bells in. This can carry. You know what? We'll just slowly do it this way. Yeah, 75,000 litres, that's like over double what this could lift recently, but... Have a look. Well, 140,000 litres silage, gloves are barley, oats, and all that. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of silage in here, but our next cut of grass will be hay. So, we're in September now, so is the last cut we get in November for grass? Yes, it is. So, I want to get the grass cut and then I want to cultivated up and drilled or just direct seeded. I don't think any field needs plowing. Well. So yes, if we have a look. We turn grass on. Look at ready to harvest. So yeah, all of our grass fields are ready to harvest along with all of our soybean fields, right is it? Soybeans? Yeah, soybean fields are a new field we bought in the last episode, which was a bit of a gamble, I know. But I may do some field flipping on that, you know, plow it, or harvest it, plow cultivate whatever, and then put a crop in if I can. But I'm not too sure I'm afraid to do that just yet. So what, let's see if I'll times one, if, even if it takes a couple of episodes, like two episodes to get this all done, that's fine. There we go. As long as we've got a ton of silage. And how many, yeah, we've still got 342 silage bells left. And I want more hay bells, so. Obviously, it'll get, get all done, it'll get transferred over and that, it's just, it takes a bit of time to get it all done. So I think the best way to get this all done is in a little short time map. So what I'll do, I'll get this all done, and then I'll see folks afterwards once we're done. Because I think we're going to get a load of TMR meat. Obviously we can sell sizes in the winter and that if we want to.
this year had a couple of mishaps with the pits. It was inevitable, so if you go into the slurry, see we've got one straw belt and two side belts stuck in there, so somehow we need to recover those. So I'm thinking perhaps I will do, not be able to do the enter, get the boom out, and sort of try and sort of dip it in and grab the bells. Sure, that's all that's gonna be just soaked in, just destroyed. Silage, long as the wrapping holds, they should still be fine, but yeah, I just don't know. So, anyways, we'll get that these bells transferred over. There we go, just sort of get them all transferred. Last four or so, and there we go. So we've almost got three million litres of silage, along with 400,000 litres of straw, and 350 of hay, or just shy off, obviously. But see, so yeah, that ain't too bad. That's a lot of TMR there for us, and definitely we sell some silage in the winter and that. That's for sure, so we'll just pop this here for now. May need it later on for when we do the hay and that. But how is our animals doing? I think the calves are running low on food. Any interesting contracts? There is harvesting, needs doing. But she's not getting the contracts for freak's sake, so. Greenhouses are looking good. But yeah, how's our animals? So, our little chickies, they're doing alright. Three months old already, along with our little duckies. They're halfway to puberty, so we should get some eggs soon. The calves, yeah, they need TMR. And actually, so does the cow shed. They need. Ooh. Fair enough. That I can deal with. Oh, what? Cow's been born. I don't. Yeah, oh yeah, they must have. Oh yeah, reproducing that, so that makes sense. Hey, there we go. So yeah, I've got some new calves and that. I think we should transfer them to the open pasture, the heifers and that. But we can do that. Any time whenever. But yeah, so the purpose of is why we're doing all this. So we can have good size base. Good straw amount. And then just nope. Not me for that. I meant for silage. Tip side to the left, there we go. And what we can do is just constantly So well. There we go. Bit more hay. Bit more straw. Do you know what meat meant for that? So we need silage. So we need hay, so already a hundred thousand litres, so yeah, a lot of it is just balance it out. Put in what we need and how much. 
But really, I should really aim for a more of a side chase. We've got tons of side at the moment, so. Done already up to 147,000 litres of TMR. So, for silage, we'll fill it up to about 60%. We could get mineral feed if we want to, but but yeah, I think that's enough TMR for now. 181,000 litres, so we we'll make one more batch for ourselves. line like this. All we have to do is just tweak it here and there. But yeah, we'll get these cows fed up. Really, I should let them use that size first of all, but you know what? Heck it. Oh dang it, they need straw. I'll be right on that. So they keep on producing manure and slurry, and we've got tons of slurry. I think we've almost got like 500,000 litres of slurry at the moment. But yeah, top up straw. Yeah, we can set it now, straw and manure, but I think we'll sell it in the winter and now, get a decent amount of profit from now. But anywho, so let's see what or how much you take. A while since I've last done this. Oh, they're going to use a lot of straw, so. You know what? What I'm going to do is. I'll finish off off camera. I'll get these all topped up, get them all fed. And then we'll resume once we start doing some. I think we could do the soybean harvest, so yeah. I'll get this all done off camera and then we start doing some harvesting I think. And there we go, that is the animals fed and stocked up. I've gone and filled all their troughs in that and topped up the straw in the cows. And whilst I was at it, I thought, heck it, let's just make a massive batch of TMR. And that's what we've done. So let's go and have a look. We've just got the mower on here ready. We'll do that either later on or in the next episode. But yeah, let's go and have a look, shall we? So obviously we got 30,000 years in here. And if you look inside though, we've got 1.3 million years of TMR. We've still got 22,000 years of straw left, we've got no hay left. And still 1.8 million litres of silage, so that's what I've been doing for that last uh, half an hour or so. Was literally just rather than do a time lapse of going across menus, which would be a bit we weird in that in the time lapse form, I'll just do this off camera. So we've got a bunch of TMR. Now, if we look in our animals, 
they're all good, almost topped up. Just gone past the arrow, so a little bit's gone down. We'll give the ducks and chickies some food they wrong when they need it. They're fine for the moment. But let's head over here. So where are we at to? We're here, so we need to go down the road, past the shop, and then up to 124 in that. So let's fold the combine in that. But yeah, it'll be interesting how much we get for soybeans. At the moment they're selling for about 2,000, 4,000 a year, so we have a look at the prices. So yeah, just shy of two grand. But they could be at three and a half grand, so I'm fine for not selling it now because we've got the wood chips to sell in the winter, which we'll make a buckload of money on. And if we can, let's perhaps do a plan of forest now. It's going to take two years to grow, the trees are two, two and a half years. But I think it'll be worth it. Definitely worth it with just how much we can get. Login, like the traditional way of login is alright, but it's just we're limited on space. Whilst we can just get the devour and just mulch it and be done with it. So that's what I think we'll do now. We'll do it before winter hits now, definitely. Obviously we've only got five grand at the moment, we have accepted some contracts. I'm hoping we get some harvesting contracts popping up, we could do those and that. But for now, I am happy with what we're at, what we're doing. And definitely our plan for the mega field is to do potatoes next year, so I want to get that mowed this month. And then what we'll do is get a cut in November. Obviously the first cut is going to be hay, I think this September and November's cut it could be hay or just do silage, sell a bunch of silage and then we can just import some hay bells, hay and straw bells in. I think we do that instead, I think we just get silage now. Got enough TMR for now. So I think we need to go left here. Yep. Soybeans, I am definitely interested in, it, in how much we're going to get. And we can make a judgment on it if we want to now get a bit of cash in that. And if we need money for certain things, I can't think of anything at the moment. We do have a mulch release down at the moment, at least the Katrina one. That can mulch out like 21 miles an hour. Uh, that's just mainly for the oats field and that we harvested. So field 65 and 66. So we get that mulched. We'll mulch 124 and 108 as well. Now where is the access? Oh, it's here. Oh, that's, that's quite handy indeed. So. Not sure if I got crop destruction on or not. Do not come off header, please. on and we need to harvest going this way so go and do that. Can we get a work on this? I think we can. If we get the heads in done then we get the work on. We need to get the oh uh, what's it? Uh bring her over. Actually is her get the 7250 out Actually, we're going to have a little looky-see. 
Actually, also the grass if we fertilize it and all that. 5% less yieldage, so I'm thinking that was from not mulching and rolling, so that's fine. We do have weeds, but they'll be killed off in what's it when we direct drill this. So you've got a bit more barley, right? Is that it? Oh, that's no, oats. Oh, yeah, we can't use oats for the chickens in it. That's what, that was what I'm saying. That's why we bought in the barley in that in last episode, I think. But, anywho, we'll whack this into the silo. Empty in. Yeah, so let's go and start doing the harvest of these unfolds. There we go. And we're harvesting soybeans. This is going to be a very good money crop for us. Obviously, we could replant from this month because. What can we plant? I think it's just like grains and that, so... Yeah, wheat, barley, rapeseed and oats, so... If we do canola, could we get canola straw on this map? I can't remember if we can or not. Is there any canola fields? There's a few. But are they ready to harvest, or have they been harvested? Yep, yeah, they're ready to harvest, so don't see why not. But yeah, we're gonna have a little gang around, a little investigation. But anyways, we'll get this all done. Shouldn't take us too long, we'll get the all the wagon up here. Hopefully you don't need to do too many trips of it. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines 
So I won't give up, I'm gon' make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless in this first soybean field and this is our biggest at 3.55 hectares obviously the yieldage just because of the soil type wasn't great was getting about 5.3 tons per hectare but when we move up to 108 we should get about seven seven a bit tons per hectare so but the purpose of this field it's got the acreage it's double the size compared to uh, this, the other field, so anywho, doesn't matter. So yeah, overall, we got 25,000 litres. So if we sell that now, we'll get 50 grand. If we wait, we'll get about 80 grand, so we're talking about a 3 grand difference in this field. I think in hindsight, by the time we are here, where we'll be next year, I think we could just set it off now. Or is it going to go down? Soybeans, it's going to get worse. We're in September, so it's going to start plumbing. It's already plummeted from August, so best place to sell it is at by spring March, so. Where is that two again? Ah, just up north, so... You know what, we'll do that. I think we'll just set it now. We'll get a bit of money coming in. At least then um, we are shored up with finances until the end of the year, so... Without hitting the hedgerow. So yeah, I want you to go to load, no sorry, not load, just deliver to buy spring marts, no looping. Hardly oh, else, because it's because of where we are at the moment, ain't it? So, what about this? If we just say, go to there. Hopefully that will rest sure and then we'll go over. Yeah, so if, if we get a message then we'll just take it on for ourselves, but if we can get a worker to do it, you know what? That's a plus. Come on, there we go. Bingo. So, Alright, it's going. It's going in the field, so is it doing a U-turn? It makes sense. Where is he going? He or she? Ah, wait a minute. Also, this up. I've set the cruise control up. There's always a go from here, right? There's no gates or anything down here. Well, there is. Helps if I set to the correct speed and that, or 32 miles an hour. Oh, I'll tell you. Ah, actually, uh, before we forget, I was about to do this in the last episode. We're going to sell this Deutsch farm. So, yep, 36 grand. There we go. Yeah, and the reason for that, really. Got enough tractors at the moment, and I feel like we for one more tractor as a replacement. Want something with a better gearbox? No, the headers come off. 
you know. where you can go through them, but then sort of one quarter farm, you've got to deal with the gates. So I'll throw these in with the hedgerows here, and not just because of you can hide them if they get really difficult to deal with, but... Anywho, workers doing something, right? Oh, for freak's sake! some production chains. Got the dairy up there. Actually, how much is that, actually? I'm curious. Is it like 70 grand or so? Interesting. But yeah, that's all was after, so... Once you've got the BGA down here, that's what, 800 grand or so? Yep, yeah, thought so. Ice bringing and all that, fuel station, garage, debris crusher, spuds, sawmill, and carpentry. And then we've got the spinnery up there, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking about doing the like, canoe or something, and then the canoe will go in. How much are we looking at? Also, where's the gates up here? Gates up there, so we've already gone over shot at, but... Anywho, so production chains... Green mill is... stupid price. But the oil mill, 80 grand. And I'm just thinking of where could we place it, so... Oh, I have got slice spells here to pick up. Alright, good to know that bit. Completely forgot. Ah, I don't know why that was because of the limit we hit. So I'm going to put in the pasture net. Well, what about near the farming now? You know, just take a chunk out of this field here. Then we can create a track around that goes there. But yeah, she doesn't really suit the aesthetics and that. May look for something else. Got the grass drying silo, so we can just cut the grass in that, pick it up, up, pig feed, TMR silo. Please forgot add these. Got some options there. I may look at an on mod up now and see what we can get potentially. Actually, what? Let's do that now. So, I'll be right back in a sec. We'll see if there's any production chains that suits the area now. I can do oil now. Here we are at the BGA. Gone done a bit experimenting. And you can actually own the sand here by the BGA and including the BGA for basically free. So, so I think if we say you want the production extended oil plant, yeah, just whack it there or something. So, we need money in that. Let's see if he sells sheds. It's not quite as much as we need. 
I want to keep the silos though. I want to keep the silos in. Yeah, keep the lamp in. Let's just do some landscaping here. Beacon. What was the texture on the ground? Ah, concrete. And oh, there's a collect a collectible here which I didn't realise. Clean that. Oh, that's an extra grand that'll go a long way for us. Wait, I'm thinking. Okay, you know what? Let's take out a temporary loan. Obviously, this is going to be all paid off soon, don't worry. Uh, so, landscaping, concrete. I'll go around and fine tune bits in between the episodes now. But just for the time being, it will do. So let's go sculpting. Actually, what? Let's make it expen expensive here. So. softening brush and just soften the heck out of it. Let's not really do anything over here too much. And ugh, the hedgerow. That looks ugly. Let's just get rid of that. Should have done that first, I think. Oops. There we go. Let's find the next hedgerow. Obviously we can put hedgerows back in there, that's not an issue for us. Just... tidying it up from now, so... That's better. I think if we do the same over here... So yeah, let's get us all tidy up, and then see where we are afterwards. So, just looking at the price of soybean oil, it's going up, and it'll peak around November, so... How much does it produce a month? 17,000 litres a month, so... That's actually looking quite good, so... If we can get the rest of the soybeans done, get that all harvested, and then we'll just whack it all into the production chain, I think. Yeah, it's something different. So we'll just a bit mixing up now. We took our short term loan. But overall, it'll be worth it in the end. We'll still be fine with my wise. Even though, it's all the joints for an act. If I was going to get a new tractor, maybe go for something a different brand, not just a John Deere, not just green in general. Okay, even maybe go for something like, I don't know, something red, a case, a Massey. And that shall will be cheeky. Is there any other soybean fields? 
so there's 90 and 111 apart from that all well, nine up there as well but what's the yieldage do we bankrupt ourselves do we just say heck it yeah well heck it why not Let's extend the loan even more ouch that's gonna hurt but sometimes you got to spend money to make money so that's what I say to that purchase all information as expected as we get up here there's a quite rich patch of loam but I think it starts to go to silty clay I see there's some there obviously got silty clay all over here and expected yieldage is okay just over 100% but yeah so just doing things differently and it's gonna be a gamble it is but I think it's something that would pay off for us so I'm thinking you know what Good send this a bit here where's the gate for the field over there and goes up to here so I'm thinking we can open this up here a bit open this patch okay as well when we replant this replant soybeans so soybeans we plant them in April and May so do we plant grass? It will be ready in November. And then the next batch will be ready. Ooh, it does start growing until April, that's the thing, so Yeah, no, get a cheeky cut silage from these two well three fields technically now. Okay, why not? Just mix things up, do things slightly different, do a bit of trimming. Actually, I think that'll do actually. And all we need to do is shut the gate. And that's a bit for more of an open space for us to work with. like saying that decently okay pH is bad that's the liming oh another slice bell over there but yeah we'll pick those up so we got a lot of work ahead of us so I think the best way to do it is as always it's good old fashioned time lapse so I think what we'll do is we'll get this done and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. Helps if you unfold it. But yeah, we'll see how much soybean we get. And then we'll see what the estimate price we'll get for the soybean drink. Well, no, soybean oils. My apologies. We had 10 grand for a thousand litres. We're comparing that to three and a half grand. Yeah, it's a two to one ratio, so we're still making more money in features in soybean, so definitely worth it. It's a huge gamble, but as I said, it's gonna pay off. It's gonna be a bit of a financial hurt for a few months. But remember, we've got just shy of two million leaves of slightage. Perhaps two million volts we could those bells up there, so and that's at least a million quid on its own, right? How much silage it is? 
at the moment. Want to have a look. So silage. 500 quid per thousand leagues at the moment. So that's slightly above market price on average. 511. So wait till the end of the year. Get a bit more money. More value for it. So yeah. It's going to be interesting, I think, with this series, how we're going to progress from here. So I do want to change things up a little bit, like do potatoes, because, heck it, we're in Ireland. we got to do potatoes. Potatoes! Ah, yeah, I see about the yieldage on average being about 100%, so... We get 4.9 tonnes per hectare up here. And we get about 7 up top, so... So read the device to fill this is to tell the different gradients in yieldage. You also tell by how fast the combine's filling up, so anyways, I'm waffling on here. We need to get this all done. And I'll see you folks once we're done here. start doing the mulching in the next episode. over here. Not oh, sure I hit one off. Too high. Massive stump. That's the downside of doing this is you get these stumps and they're just absolutely hard to deal with. Absolutely, 
Thankfully that sub ain't in the way of doing anything. There we go, that's better, that's probably one that should have done it. Should have lowered it before cutting. Being them so we have issues with people. No, it's just okay, there is a little there's something a bit there. Should have done the first sign. So yeah, that is 61,000 litres. Oh, there we go. Well, somehow that worked. Not too sure on why, though, but. Okay, it worked, so I'm not completely. Bingo, so 62,000 litres. For the tree on the end, I an issue. That one, not so much. That's fine. But yeah, I think this have quick look around before I go and return this. That's fine. That's in that filled up there. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, what's the value of wood chips again? I'll have a look and refresh myself. 600 quid at the moment, or wait a little bit longer, and it will extrapolate from here, so... I think we'll wait. There it goes, park up over here. And we'll finish off doing the headland, and then we'll get the work going on this. But yeah, there's a reason why I was going, again, as we mentioned, the change of pace. It sort of changed things up so we're not just doing the same things over and over again, like the mowing. Because could, we could do contracts for days on here. I could literally do what I did on Court Farm. Spend 10, 12 hours of real life time doing one episode and just doing contracts. The next you know, we've got pretty much like on New Mass Land, millions. Absolute millions on end. Yeah, we could do that. But then again, that would make things a bit more boring. I do want to try to keep these episodes concise and that. But, to have that variety of between the Let's Plays and between the ep episodes so like No Man's Land. No, no Man's Land is its own thing. We find things to do in each episode. Court Farm is more of a Court Farm and Vice Brain both have that farming aspect of it. Also, we're not doing too much forestry. We won't do forestry on here, I don't think. We may do, I'm not sure. Definitely on Court Farm, like, like I did with Compton Farms. We we'll do maybe Poplar now on that series now. Do a sort of dedicated episode of just forestry of doing trees and poplars. But here, we'll be doing potatoes, because we are in Ireland. So the logical conclusion makes sense, so why not? But yeah, we're getting good yieldage from this field, as I mentioned. But look, we're getting like 7.8 tonnes per hectare, compared to like the 5.3 we're getting. And that's a 50% increase. Obviously, in terms of pure volume in the end, the bigger fields will obviously still get more crop from it, but from a, again, yieldish per hectare, this is the most valuable field. So there we go. Get the worker off an act. 
I know what I have to do is get the trader over. I should want this use green car as better. There's a reason why we got the green car and it's just similar you similar not you, they're similar volume compared to the trader. But it handles the terrain a lot better. Maybe the hat getting a bigger trade on that in the future. Around the 34,000 year mark. So yeah, 29,000 a year, so... Maybe something like that. Perhaps I think we can tandem, maybe. Maybe get two 20,000 a year traders and that'd be better. But yeah, we are struggling to work the land. Which we have speed in that, but that's the thing with Ice Ring. That's the challenges we have to deal with, so. Comes part of the parcel, so. But yeah, we'll get those bells picked up in the next episode. Got all the moments to do as well. And we're full, so we'll start emptying this. Drive into me for Christ's sake. <laughs> Boop the combine as you do. There we go, so we'll get this filled up and then we'll take this down to the BGA and start doing the production of our soy milk. So I make no salt oil. And again, we've still got a bit of money left. So I think one of the productions I've got enabled can do soy drink. Is it soy drink or soy milk or both? Soy drink. It's maybe something to consider. I'll set the combine do its thing there. Once it turns around, we'll take it down to the BGA and start producing the oil. And yeah, we're going to get a ton of it. Like currently, it's got about 50,000 a year, so I'm thinking at least 60,000 a year. So that is 30,000 years of oil. And if it's at that peak price, that's 300 grand we're going to be making in just a matter of a couple of months. Just from soybeans, that's not wood chips or anything. Wood chips alone will make about 400 grand on that. So I think Rush overall, we're looking very really well and that money's going to go straight back into the farm, pay off the loan, new land, new equipment. Similar to how we started with this year, new year, new land. Uh, uh, new equipment. That's the thing, we're expanding, we're turning this old dairy farm into a thriving, ouch, booming business. And that's one thing we need to do to survive. It's all about diversification of your income. You've got to spend money to make money, and in this episode, definitely got enough sort of general vibe we'd be going. 
Hopefully, you guys, hopefully you lot enjoy that. Hopefully, it hasn't put people off. But again, comment your suggestions on what we should do, what we should shouldn't do. Again, with the wood chips now, that's the only real thing going to be used for the like, unrealistic equipment. Similar record farming now, it's with drawn a hat situation. It's just to save on trips and that in the episodes and that, but unlike with New Mazans, we're doing million litre traders and that, million litres of fluids and like 250,000 million litre combine harvester. It's all about restraint and that. And that's the thing, sometimes it's just going back to the simple things. Keep it simple, keep it. What's the old say? Keep it simple, stupid. That's what we're doing here. And let's go right here. Since we're on the public highways now. Well, we're on roads and that up there, but since we're going to have to deal with traffic now, let's put our beacons on. And yet, still no harvesting contracts is popping up. I want to do some of these contracts. Things like the corn and that. If we had the money, well, we'd get the cornfield and do silage. You know, do a bit of maize silage bells, but. Yeah, we may do that at another time. But the corn does look nice when it's ready to harvest, so. But, anyways, here we are at the BGA. And let's see this production going. Ooh, put the brakes on. I'm not in the bloody way. Don't go beeping at me. Seriously, you suck right there. Man, I swear sometimes with these AI workers, not AI, not AI workers and AI traffic, are going to be the death of me at one day at some point. I absolutely swear on that. Now, she needs to put this in, so... There we go. And now, we're making oil. And we've got our first litre of soybean oil. And I think that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, we got the brass work to do, we've got mulching to do. And it's going to rain swell at some point. When's it going to rain? At 3 o'clock, so we've got a couple more hours to finish off the harvest. And do the mowing. October's looking wet. And winter's going to be pretty hectic as well, but we'll deal with that then. But yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.